Hey everybody, it's me, Eric Comley, Gary County 4-H Youth Development Agent, and this is another episode of On the Ground. Uh, as you all know, um, I, I started these a couple of years ago because we were in the midst of the pandemic and it was an opportunity for me to show the passion that I have for our native uh, wildflowers and it was an opportunity for people to see things that maybe they didn't get the chance to see maybe because they were um, sheltering in place or maybe because um, you know it was just an opportunity to see different plants uh, that uh, existed in our beautiful state so the one that I wanted to show you all today is this beautiful little plant here uh, this one is called Indian paintbrush it is uh, scientific name of it is uh, and I, I'm probably gonna mess this one up but it's it's either Castilea coccinea or Castilesia so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Castilea coccinea uh, it's found in the broom rate family which is the Orobanciaceae Orobanciaceae family and uh, it used to be in the Scroff family and the Scrofulariaceae family, but they moved it out of that one primarily because all of the order branches are uh, parasitic plants. And we'll talk a little bit more about this one as a parasitic plant as well. Uh, it has uh, these alternate leaves that you all see that's, that are moving up the stem, this really hairy stem. It's very angular as well and has these multi-lobe leaves that you see there. And then the one thing that you're going to notice more than anything is, is uh, are the bracts. These beautiful red bracts that you see that are actually surrounding the flower. And I'm just going to tip that over and see if you can see that there actually is a yellow flower down inside of those bracts um, that... Uh, that's where the, the true flower is, okay? Uh, so the bracts and the sepals are kind of this scarlet color. Um, they can be uh, yellow. Uh, there is a variation of this one that is yellow, uh, but there's also another species that's yellow. But this is the only one that's found in Kentucky, uh, the Castilea coccinea. Um, it is endangered. Uh, in Kentucky. It's a rare plant in Kentucky. So it's one of those that if you do find it that you want to make sure that you uh, that you report this one to the Office of Kentucky Nature Preserves because it's really a unique flower. We mostly see uh, some of these in the western part of the United States, but this one uh, we do have uh, in Kentucky. So where did where did the name come from? So the etymology of the name uh, is actually uh, Castilea is named after a uh, a botanist, his name was Domingo Castileo, and so that's where Castilea comes from, and then coccinea is the Latin word for red or for scarlet, so another name for this one is scarlet uh, Indian paintbrush. Uh, like I said before, it is hemiparasitic, which means that you'll notice that it's green, and so because it does have green parts on it, we know that just through basic photosynthet photosynthetic processes that it does, uh, that it can produce its own food, but it also can get food from other sources. So uh, generally this one gets uh, food sources from grasses. So it, it gets other nutrients uh, from grasses as well. So a really cool plant, it's pollinated or it's visited by bees. Um, and hummingbirds, they like that, that tubular structure of the bracton so that they can get their tongue down into the flower there. Um, and so really kind of a, a unique uh, thing there. When it goes to seed, uh, it will have a seed and in each one of those pods, in each one of the seed pods, there could be up to 300 seeds that are actually in there. And those 300 seeds are dispersed by the wind, and then uh, it's one of those where you hope that they fall on um, on fertile ground so that they can uh, so that they can plant themselves. They are a biennial, which means that you'll usually see this rosette of leaves that you see down here first, and then you will see. Um, uh, and then usually in the second year it will get its uh, it will get a flower. Uh, a couple of other cool things about this one: Native Americans use this one as both a love charm that they would put in food, and also a poison that they would give their enemies. So I, I it's you know one way or the other there. So. Um, 
So anyway, and then, uh, so one of the books that, um, that I would, that I would highlight is this, a naturalist book of wildflowers. And I really quickly wanted to read the story to you all about this particular flower and where the common name comes from for this one. So, uh, Scarlet Indian Paintbrush. And so the story says here in this, in this book, and this is a great book uh, to give you some kind of basic information. And then in addition to that, give you some interesting um, uh, tidbits about it as well. It says the name comes from a legend about a young American Indian boy who prayed to the great creator to give him brilliant paint to capture the colors of the sunset. His prayers were answered with paintbrushes growing in the ground. After he used them, he put them back and they turned into this flower. So that's the legend of where, uh, where this, this flower came from and where that, uh, that common name comes from as well. Really just a unique flower. I'm so glad that you all had the chance to see this one. I'm going to take a few still photographs so I can put with this video, but thank you all so much for watching all of the different episodes of uh, on the ground with me. I've really enjoyed it. If you all ever have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out. My email address is eric, E-R-I-C dot comley, C-O-M-L-E-Y at U-K-Y dot E-D-U. Um, or you can follow us on the Garrett County 4-H Facebook if you have questions not only about plants, but also about any program that we do in 4-H or with Extension. So um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, this is Eric Conley, Garrett County 4-H Youth Development Agent, and this has been another edition of On the Ground. Thanks again.